Yeah. Happy affiliate anniversary. It's the one year mark today. Uh, so... I didn't know what to stream today. Like, I was like, it's one year, it's kind of a special occasion, even though I've been super inconsistent the past, like, year. Really inconsistent. So, I have decided to go to one of my favorite games ever, which is Hollow Knight. I also have a speedrun route in the bottom left that I'm looking at. Just because I want to be a little bit speedy. But, uh, no place better than to jump into it now. Hey, uh, sorry to reiterate, but this is, like, a really special moment for me. It's my one-year anniversary of being an affiliate on Twitch. It's something very special, something that I didn't think was going to happen. With Speaking of how very inconsistent I've been over the past few years, and I genuinely thought I was going to give up at some point. But after all the struggle of me trying to be consistent and have a regular stream schedule, I've made it this far. Not where I want to be, but I'm far enough along where I'm happy at where I'm at. Uh, this game means a lot to me. I have over 150 hours on it across multiple accounts, and it, it just has a very special place in my heart. I won't go through talking about it multiple times of how much it means to me. Uh, I'm putting a lot of effort into editing this video, uh, along with some new videos coming out soon, which I'm assuming haven't been released yet. Uh, so if you like anything in the video and you appreciate the work I've done, please uh, like and subscribe. It would mean a lot and help support me out so much. And also you can watch me live at Twitch at twitch.tv slash crimsonsolar if you want to see unedited stuff and interact with me while I'm playing games. So please enjoy the video. Like I said, right now we're just trying to see if I remember how the game works, because it's been about a year since I've played. I'm pretty sure we can get through like 80% of, maybe like 75, but 75 to 80% of the game without any flaws. Oh, there's my first damage. It's going to be a little slow in the beginning, just because it's set up and whatnot, but I think after like 30 minutes to an hour... We're going to be blazing through it. I want to say the speed runs only like three, four hours. But yeah, since we're kind of speed running, quote unquote, we're going to need to be collecting up all the uh, money rocks we can. Just because enemies aren't going to be giving us enough money to buy anything. We have a little counter at the bottom too to tell us, uh, to give us a little boss health bar visual. That's not normally in the game. But it's like a quality of life thing to see how close we are. Now oh, that hurt. And there we go. This is a really easy boss to kill. Oh, I didn't mean to get hit by that. And knocked down again. Oh. I'm doing so poorly. And we even win. There we go. It's just that easy. And then he jumps up and dies. There we go. That's that boss. We have City Crest, which is, let's do something later. And I know this is, we're trying to be a little speedy, but I just want to see this real quick. This hammer is a little bug. Put that on. It's gonna make us take double damage, but I believe it's worth it in the end. So we get our other charm to active. Which basically that one is it once we're at one hit, 
we do like double damage, which is gonna make boss fights a lot quicker. And this requires us being on one hit, so it's kinda like a risk Oh, I just stabbed myself in the eye. Kinda like a risk reward thing. Bench. And then we run over here to get the bench toll. Why though? Isn't this where we're supposed to Hey, can't we just do that to sequence break the game? Like, what's stopping us? I thought that was like part of the speedrun tech is this little exploit glitch thing. I don't know, we're doing it, and if it something breaks because of it, I'm sorry. Alright, after we do that, we're gonna jump down to the left. There should be a rock for us to claim right in here. Right in here. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I didn't realize how low my health was. And there we go. First death. One of many. Just because I I'm currently broken right now. There we go. Oh, please not again. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. I'm I'm taking up Fury right now. I I can't deal with Fury. Trust me, once we start warming up a little bit, uh I I will show you my true potential. But first, we're just gonna do that. I didn't mean to fall on top of you. There we go, that's one. And there we go, we got them all. And now we fight Hornet. It's been a minute since I've fought Hornet. Versus the lane on top of me. Come on, she's almost there. Like two more hits. There we go. And that's Hornet complete. Oh, well, Hornet one. There's another Hornet later on that we gotta fight. But now we get Mothwing Cloak, which lets us dash, which will really speed up the game. And instead of going through that entire maze that we are forced to go through, what we can do is save and quit to load us back out at the bench that we last set at earlier. I believe it's just over to the left. There we go, there's Mantis Claw, we can now wall climb, which increases our movement tech tenfold. How would anyone redeem time out? Uh, it's funny. That's why. We're gonna see how, uh, what's his face? Soulmaster, I think is his name. Soulmaster is like, in my opinion, your mid-tier boss of difficulty of you need to start learning mechanics and mastering how the game works. I mean, there's also Mantis Lords, which I really love, but we don't really fight them right now just because we don't need to. But they are, like, one of my favorite bosses in the game. Next to, of course, uh, Troop Master Grim. Which is a super basic-ass pick, but I am in love with Troop Master Grim. I feel like I am missing an important thing. There it is. This is what I was looking for.
please, please. Alright, there we go. That's another uh, thing we needed. Oh my god, there's still you guys alive? Alright, Soul Master time. Let's see, this is going to be the skill of, if I remember how to play this game or not, is this guy right here. I missed. Lovely. I can normally double hit him on that attack if I'm fast enough. I'm not doing horrible. I forgot how much health he has, though. Here we go. You know, the both health bar is so nice, just to know uh, how close I am to killing them and all that. Oop. Let's grab that. And we get baited. No. Damn. And that's it. Now he's dead. And now we get Desolate Dive, which is actually a really good spell. Because you can, like, double and triple hit enemies at times. If you get, like, good RNG for it, but... It's really strong. We are too far down to sell everything at limbs. There we go. Yeah, it, it really sucks that we had to come back for this one thing. And now we do another save and quit. It would have been nice having the first... I forgot a bench. And now we're gonna fight the first boss of the game that we were supposed to fight. Well, technically, it's either a False Knight or Res Mother. And that's the first boss of the game. Fighting it like fourth. Alright, can I get them all in once? I don't think I will be able to. But we'll try it. No, not even close. Yeah, now we, uh, we kill the mother, and then we kill all her children. Isn't that lovely? I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. I think this is for a grub, which we're not even getting at the moment. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to come here for you. We'll get- we'll save all you in a second. Now we get Crystal Dash. Sorry, Crystal Heart. Oh, that's a badass animation. I'm a little lost right now, if I do say so. We're almost so sad he needs saving. Yeah, I know. We'll save them eventually, though. Just right now, we're speedrunning. <laughs> Don't worry. We, we will go back and get all the grubs. They, they are not going to be uh, there forever. I can't really... Yeah. So you know how I was like, oh, this ability we got right here, this one is really strong? It's so strong that we're already upgrading it. 
It is on the speedrun path to upgrade it. I believe it's over here. Yeah. I'm just here for Descending Dark, right? I believe so. Hello, friend. Descending Dark. We get Dream Nail. And then we go to Crystal... Crystal? Crossroad. CS. What the hell is CS? We'll figure it out. Oh, I don't have enough to cheese him right now. So with Descending Dark, that ability I keep talking about, whenever he's in the ground, I'll show you. You can also cheese him here. If he never touches the ground three times, he will, uh, you can keep him that animation forever. I wouldn't say he's really a difficult boss. But yeah, there we go. There's the cheese. When he's in the, like, actually burrowed in the ground instead of bouncing, you can, uh, knock him out. Low sum dung eater. I get that reference. Alright, we'll heal up real quick, even though I don't think we're gonna need it. And there we go. Dung Eater's gone. Then we get Defender's Crest, which is literally just, uh, it literally just gives you, a uh, Aurora. An Aurora. Aurora? I don't know how to pronounce that word. But it just gives you, like, a scent that damages anyone around you, because you just smell incredibly bad. Ooh, 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 is it skip time? Oh, it's skip time. And I got it first try. So, for that skip, you're supposed to have a double jump but you can bounce off of obstacles to give you more height, like you can with enemies. And basically, you can just bounce off that to get enough height to jump up. If we die, we have a lot of backtracking to do, which sucks. We're also going to do this to kill one of them early off. So then we have to fight one less, but here we go, watch your knights. There's one, and now two of them start spawning at a time. I just gotta concentrate real quick. Very little opportunities to heal, but now we just have one left, I believe. And dead. Never mind. That went incredibly smooth. Watcher Knights is normally a run killer for me, and that went really smooth. Like, there was a little part in there where I was like, oh god, it's over. But I feel like I recovered. Can I? I'm having more trouble with that than Watcher Knights. We are back. My internet went out for a second. Uh, I have no clue when it cut out. Yeah, I, I have no clue when it cut out at all, but right now we are going to kill our second main story boss. 
and we have no need to bench. This is going to be the easiest fight ever. Like, we honestly... There should be no reason we die. If we die, then we deserve to run back all the way. If I can get him in the center of the room and keep him there, we can easily kill him. This fight should not be taking this long. Oh my god, this fight shouldn't be taking this long. If we die, then we deserve to run back all the way. This is what we get for not safety benching. This is the point of safety benching. This right here. There we go. Alright, if he's in a good spot, we'll be able to kill him next time. Are you- look at that. Look at that health bar. There we go. Umu- Umu is done. It's just straight to Hera. Wow, I forgot how short the speedrun is. It's like two, three hours for a casual speedrun. Like, we literally unlock the ability to kill the dreamers, and we just immediately destroy them all. Kind of makes sense, I guess. And time to sit on the most trustworthy bench ever. Let me get kidnapped. Come on. Come on. And there we go. Last streamer. Jumps off the map. Don't worry, I meant to do that. I meant to do that. I noticed you don't have your chill music playing in the background today. Yeah... I haven't done that in a while, and mainly I don't want to do that on this game just because I love the music to this game too much. Looks like a fun game. No, yeah, I love this game. Here, I'll put on... So, my favorite... My favorite uh, boss in this game is also my favorite music. And this is what the music is. We're just gonna listen to it for a second. I also know how to play this on piano a little bit.
and that's the song. But now, we are on the final boss. I got here in what, two and a half hours? About? I don't, I can't really tell because, like I said, stream crashed at some point today. I didn't, stream didn't crash, I lost Wi Fi. So I had to reset stream. But I think it's about two and a half hours. Uh, will I be able to do this guy without double jump? We'll see. Last time I wasn't able to, but I also had to struggle with Watcher Knights. I made him go silent just to concentrate. No, I don't need double jump. We're all good.
And... We knocked him. That was it. He then, after that, he would go into a phase where he's not able to do anything and we would just maul on him. And I got greedy. I got greedy, and I died right after we got him to his last phase. Every now and then, his forehead hits me. Sir, you were supposed to activate your phase transition. I know how to dodge his attacks now, which is really good. It's because I was never uh, full jumping. I was I would do like a half jump, and then I would get clipped by something stupid. Or I can just you know sit here while he keeps mauling on me. That works too. And there's the forehead clip. I need this. The fact I didn't get hit by that honestly baffles me. Please, I need a stun, thank you. There we go, final phase. I should be able to get a full heal off right here. Alright, play this super carefully. This part is the only part I should be taking damage to. Now he can literally do nothing. Well, he, yeah. But yeah. He can do something, but it's like very minimal. He's just gonna be stationary the entire time. He's not really a threat. And that's it. I would say what? Two and a half, three hours? This is about right. So yeah, this is my favorite game, and we've only experienced, I want to say, less than 10% of the game. There are so many cooler bosses and uh, 
areas and whatnot. Like, we have only experienced a percentage of the game. I will say I've never 100% the game. I am 90% sure that is the uh, last achievement I need. Is 100%ing the game. Because to 100% the game requires fighting the most difficult bosses all at once. In one consecutive line. And let me tell you, that is insanely difficult. Like, there are 50 bosses you have to kill in a straight line. And I want to say it takes about 30 minutes to do. So if you die at the last boss, you have to do that 30 minutes all from the beginning again. But that will be the very last thing we do. But no, I absolutely love this game. It's my favorite game of all time. Can't wait for Silk Song to come out. And I don't think of anything else that would be better to stream for my one year anniversary. Because I knew I wanted to do something, I just didn't know what, and this is like the perfect thing that I could have thought of. There's also like randomizers and stuff that we could probably touch on later. I might just become a Hollow Knight streamer to be honest, I love this game too much. Also, we cannot skip the credits, but they're not that long either. So while we're doing that, we can pull up the Hollow Knight Completionist Guide. So we have 26% of the game done. It should be 26. 29? 29%? What did I miss? Steel Soul Mode unlock. I already have Steel Soul Mode. 